It's hard to breathe, but that's alright Hush What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel And today we'll be making a DIY police tunnel for a guinea pig snowball And the one we will be getting very soon You only need a few materials You only need some double sided tape Fleece Oatmeal cans that are empty and some more fleece. And you'll need twice as much fleece if you're making two, which we will be doing. And this one will be for Snowball. And he is bigger and about three years old. This one will be for the new guinea pig. And he is smaller and younger, so he'll get the smaller one. So the first step is to cut a hole in the bottom of the oatmeal container with scissors and parent supervision may be needed. All right, we just finished cutting a hole in the two oatmeal containers and we're going to use the fleece and wrap it in that. And you may need to cut the fleece, but depending on what size it is, over. So we had just finished making one and this is the end result. It will be for a new guinea pig, and we'll show you how to build another one next. Make sure you have to measure it first. So, for length, you flip it twice and have a little bit extra, and then it'll be good. For width, you should be able to wrap it around completely. So, this is just the right size. It works best if you have one side short and have the other side go longer. So as you can see, it only covers about a few inches. It's important for the inside of the tunnel to be as very tight so the guinea pig will be able to fit through. It's tight enough that Snowball will be able to fit through. And then if you have a little bit extra from the top like we do, you can just fold it back down. Here it is. I'll roll a few clips of guinea pigs using it next. Alright, so as you just saw, our new guinea pig 
loves it and is squeaking a lot. Now I'll show you Snowball using it. Now we have Snowball on the other side of the cage just for a few minutes and we're going to put him in his tunnel and see what he thinks. He went in there for a few seconds and I'll show you what his other tunnel looks like. Um, this is his old one. He's been in there. He spends so much time in that. And it's very hairy, so we just had to make him a new one. And I think you like this one just as much, but it just take him a few minutes to get easy. Um, I just put some little back in his box and brought him upstairs. And he's already back in his tunnel, so he might just take him a little bit to get used. All right, guys and girls, that will wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to build a DIY fleece tunnel. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Comment any questions or video ideas down below. See you later.